Question 9 says a 74 gram ice cube at 0 degrees is heated until 66 grams has become water at 100 degrees and 8 grams has become steam at 100 degrees. How much energy was added to accomplish this transformation? And so in this equation, in this problem, um, typically we would set up on a, on a problem like this a where the the, the sum of changes of heat equals zero, but this is not an enclosed system. It's saying that heat is being added somewhere from the outside, and so we want to know how much heat has been added. And so um, we just simply have to add up Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, where Q1 is the, melt, the, the amount of energy required to melt the ice, Q2 is to heat the entire amount of water from 0 up to 100, and then Q3 is transforming 8 grams of that water into steam. And so because it's not an enclosed system, we don't know what it equals, and so that's what we're trying to figure out. What does that equal? I'm going to set up a table like I typically do, so I'm going to have ice, ice, water, and steam are my three Q's, my three, uh, my three phases, and um, so I, I need to know the mass, I need to know the specific heat, I need to know the change of temperature, I need to know the latent heat, and, um, and, and so some of those are going to apply to, uh, some of those are not going to apply, so for example, I need to know the mass of all of them, so I, I said it was 74 grams, so 0 0.074 kilograms, 0 0.074 kilograms, and then it said that 8 grams changed to steam, so 0 0.008 kilograms of steam. The specific heat, I don't need to know the specific heat for ice because um, there aren't any temperature changes from when, when the ice melts, it just goes from 0 degrees of solid ice to 0 degrees of wa at water. And same with the steam, so on phase changes you don't know, need to know the specific heat and you don't need to know the, the change of temperature. So for the water, the specific heat is 4,186 joules per kilogram Kelvin, or joules per kilogram Celsius. And, and the change of temperature from 0 degrees to boiling, uh, to steam, is 100 degrees change of temperature, so 100 degrees Celsius. And then the latent heat, uh, we only need to know that for the phase changes, so that doesn't apply there. Latent heat of ice is 333,000 joules per kilogram, and for steam it is uh, 2,260,000 uh, 2, joules per kilogram. And, and then so we can use this to calculate Q for each of these, so multiply... Uh, to get Q is equal to uh, 24,642 joules. I can multiply these three to get that the water, the Q for water, was 3,976.4 joules, and that uh, the the energy for steam was was 18,080 joules. And I said that, that we wanted to find out what Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 equaled because we didn't know, so we just add up all three of these, and we should get uh, 73,698.4 joules.